What's going on folks? Welcome back to another Scum video. I hope you're all doing well as always. Thank you very much for your ongoing support on the channel, guys. Greatly appreciate Now, if you haven't hit the like and subscribe by the end of the video, then please consider as you are missing out on the live streams and all the videos that I am posting right now for you to see. So, here we are. The devs decided to put a patch out today and we are going to be making our little video here at the Duga Radar site, which is what you see is what you get. We have the radar and we have a little building here. It's not little, but we have a building here with a ton of resources, including military as well. So it's a nice little area you can go and get some loot from. Now, there are some things in this video, guys. Please stick around because I'm going to be telling you some things uh, that are going to help out and be beneficial for the future as well and answer some questions uh, that you guys uh, will hopefully appreciate during the video. Okay, so we, we have some items there. Ignore them for now, guys. I'm going to make this as easy as possible, and I'm going to try and fly through this video as quick as I can, okay? So if we look in the crafting menu, uh, if you go down to the uh, engineering skill here, so you can actually see right now, you've got the large battery charger, which is a medium engineering, and basic engineering, we have the small battery charger, which you can see right there. Now, obviously, the devs did post out something a little while ago and update the game so we can actually use electrical devices such as the fridges, the portable ovens, the ovens in the prefab buildings and stuff like that as well. I do have a video on that, which is called the cooking video. So just type in Ray Kit Cooking, you'll, hopefully you'll find it. So I'm going to make this as simple as possible. We have generators. You guys know about these generators. Now, you cannot use these large, uh, these chargers without them being in the circle. So if I show the range ring of the small one, Obviously, it's inside, so now I can charge my batteries. How does this work exactly? So what I'm going to do is I have some batteries here, and simply, these smartphone batteries, you drag them into the containers. Now, if I open inventory for the small battery charger, you can now see I can only fit four batteries if I wanted to charge all four at once, which you can see here. Now, if you want to recharge uh, your batteries in the large one, you can see how many you can actually charge here. You can charge a ton. Um, and now also, uh, the difference is, is with the smartphone batteries because these batteries, just throwing it in there, these little blue ones, are no longer rechargeable. You cannot recharge these guys. Once they're gone, you can literally, if it works, no, it doesn't. You can't even yeet them. Um, so, yeah, you, you don't want to be keeping those after because that is literally a one-time use, and that is it. But with these smartphone batteries, you can actually uh, recharge these. Also, something, a car battery. Does this fit in here? Because I have tested this, so I already know the answer to that question. Uh, yes, you can. Apparently, you can recharge a car battery in there. If you have an alternator, uh, then you can actually recharge the battery while you're driving the vehicle. Uh, but it's also nice to know because I'm sure I'll be actually getting that question um, down in the uh, comment section after the stream. Just going to pause the video there for two seconds, ladies and gents. Now, there is something that I failed to tell you guys. Yes, I do apologize on this. Once your generator is on and your charger is within the generator ring, don't forget to turn on the charger. There is a, a button for both of them, the large and small, to actually turn on also. Thank you. Now, obviously, um, you can use the 500 watt generator or you can use the 250 watt generator. Now, bear in mind, you can't just put an unlimited amount of electrical devices in here, say an oven or if you're in a building like your uh, your prefab oven uh, and fridge and stuff like that. There's only going to be a certain amount. So you may even need to get two generators or something like that um, to actually get a lot of this stuff working. But for the sake of these uh, charges, you should be fine. Um, I, I do have a hiking backpack here. So if I take out the battery, I don't think you can, you can't actually, let's just double check this. The battery charger doesn't go in the backpack unless it's completely empty. So you can see that there. Also, um, you can even manage to fit the generators in here too, which is really cool for anyone who didn't know that. Um, so you can actually fit a lot of this stuff here, or you can just simply carry it, which you can see it's got a handle on it, which is really, really cool. So I'm sure you're going to be able to find uh, those around on the island as well. Um, now that is basically how the batteries. Um, that is basically how the batteries last. Oh, we have a, we have a surprise visitor during the during the video. There you go. Take that. Wow, that took him out in one hit. Crikey, these must be um, these must be pretty OP. Right. So I'm going to show a couple of images on the screen. I'm not really going to pull them into the game because it's it's. it's you're going to see it. So we've got the medic helmets as well. And we've also got a tobacco plant. So you can actually grow your own tobacco now as well. 
Um, also, at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing, uh, please pause it, because there are some things you are going to want to know. Uh, and they've also fixed the chests disappearing as well and stuff like that, which is really, really cool. Um, so let's have a look at the scope on the night vision, uh, the night vision scope here. So this is variable zoom, 4 to 16 times, and you can actually range up to 1,000 meters with this. So you can see, if you just scroll the mouse wheel on its own, you can see you can actually zoom in um, a couple of times like that, which is really, really cool. And if I turn it on, so if you actually right click it, obviously I haven't got a battery in here, so if I drag a battery onto the actual scope, you can see it says insert. Now I have to right click it and turn on night vision. You're gonna have to do this for all devices now. So even the flashlight here, um, I can drag a battery into the flashlight and you have to turn it on and it will only use, it, and that's gonna sound weird when I say this, but some people are gonna ask this question. Um, just don't forget to turn it off after because it will keep using it. Um, and it also discharges at the same time. So if you just look here, uh, on the on the left hand side with the smartphone battery you can see I've actually used some of this battery so I have a hundred percent this is a hundred percent battery here so you can see it says at the bottom time until empty 11 hours one minute um, and then you can see there it says nine hours um, nine hours two minutes and 57 seconds um, I'm pretty sure that is what that means <laughs> if not then please let me know um, but it says 32, 32 days, 32 days. I think 32 days is if you leave it for 32 days without using it at all. So that's going to last for 32 days in your box without touching them, which is, I think that's got to be it. So nine hours, two minutes and 57 seconds. Or if you're un if it's not touched at all, that's going to last you 32 days until it runs out because you can see it's discharging 0.015 um amps um constant though so it says the charge there is um 3.3 and if you look at the full one it's four and the max capacity is a hundred percent as well so you can actually see the hundred percent there that's actually the quality of it by the way um but the max max capacity it says is 100 percent um and obviously 10 out of 10 there gives you a kind of si signal um of sort of how much charge that actually has left as well um, okay, so obviously looking at the night vision scope, this is something that I wanted you guys to stick around for. Now, what you're probably going to think is, well, how is the night vision going to affect all of the other scopes? Uh, because if you just wear a night vision helmet, which you can currently still do in SCUM, uh, which is an issue, and the devs said they are going to be bringing that in, so they are working on that now. So they're basically going to change it so your night vision doesn't work with any scope other than the night vision scope that you guys can see here. Um... And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I have for you guys. Um, and hopefully that's made it a little bit easier for you to understand uh, with the electrical system and everything like that and night vision stuff. Just don't forget to do this. Turn off, or that's turning it on. Turn off. So you can turn it on and turn it off. If you have it on, it's going to be uh, using up the power and you are going to be needing to constantly recharge that. And you don't want it going out, especially when you need it, guys. All right. Um, also... I'm going to cut the video in a second and I'm going to give you a couple of shots of the Duga Raider Tower. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to post over there the QOL and the bug fixes. This is something you guys might want to check out because they did say, like I said earlier, they have um, they have fixed or shall I say potentially th uh, fixed or they're claiming to fix um, the disappearing boxes that are currently in the game. And we need that fixed like we really do. But they're claiming that it's now fixed. So... Um, it has been an issue for a very long time, actually, and a plenty of other fixes and QOLs as well. So please go and check that out, ladies and gents. Um, as always, appreciate your ongoing support on the channel. We are coming up to 60,000, and I am absolutely uh, humbled by that. Thank you so much for your support and your time watching the streams and the videos. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe on the way out if you are new. So take care, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.